My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Follow the yellow brick road. 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 Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Look how pathetic they are. What'd you say? <laughs> I'll make you eat those words. Well, I think I'll have a beer. We don't have no beer, just tequila. What, what's tequila? Yeah, it's like beer. Is it fattening? Fattening? Forget it. If it's like beer, we'll have some. Three tequilas. Sure, sure, amigos. Enjoy yourselves. <coughs> Try not to get into too much troubles, okay? <laughs> don't make me destroy you. Okay, well... We've heard from you, Scott. Now, uh, you, tell us a little about yourself. The details of my life are quite inconsequential. Oh, no, please, please. Let, let's hear about your childhood. Yeah, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Very well. Where do I begin? My father was a relentlessly self-improving boulangerie owner from Belgium with low-grade narcolepsy and a penchant for buggery. My mother was a 15-year-old French prostitute named Chloe with webbed feet. My father would womanize, he would drink, he would make outrageous claims like he invented the question mark. Sometimes he would accuse chestnuts of being lazy, the sort of general malaise that only the genius possess and the insane lament. My childhood was typical. Summers in Rangoon, luge lessons. In the spring, we'd make meat helmets. When I was insolent, I was placed in a burlap bag and beaten with reeds. Pretty standard, really. At the age of 12, I received my first scribe. At the age of 14, as a roastery named Vilma, ritualistically shaved my... There really is nothing like a shorn... It's breathtaking. I suggest you try it. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight 